Hey guys, have you recently found yourself interested or curious about what virtual reality has to offer going into 2020? With VR becoming more and more prevalent over the last few years or so, more and more people are jumping into the exciting world that is virtual reality. But with the growing popularity of this futuristic take on gaming, there are several different virtual reality systems to choose from at this point. We have multiple Oculus systems, we have the Valve Index that just came out, the PlayStation VR. Overall, more and more just keep popping up and it's kinda getting to the point where it's like, which one do you pick? Which one's gonna suit your wallet the best? So me personally, I just picked up the Oculus Rift S. Uh, that was $400 retail. And that is one that you do have to run completely on a PC. They also have the Oculus Quest that just came out. But it is 100% wireless and it runs completely off of itself, which is kind of impressive. But for today, I'm gonna be doing kind of a deeper dive into the Oculus Rift S. I'm gonna go over my personal first impression of it and hopefully help you guys get that list down as far as if you've been looking into this one and maybe another one. But before I waste too much time, let's get into it. And I hope you like the video. Okay. All right guys, so first I wanna talk about the new controllers that they made for the Oculus Rift S. Uh, so personally for me, I've only used the PlayStation headset in the past, and as a lot of you know, the actual like sticks that you use for the virtual reality, those were completely recycled from the kind of first attempt that they had with motion controllers back in the PS3 days. So they weren't entirely like the greatest thing. So the new controllers that they have are so much better. You actually get the uh, triggers on the back, they feel really nice. And then actually on the inside you have the A and B button. And then it actually comes with a joystick. That's one thing that wasn't on the PlayStation 1. And I found playing games like Skyrim to be extremely annoying. Uh, because you mainly have to like aim where you want to go and teleport. Which you kind of do the same thing on here. But you can actually use the joysticks. Uh, and it makes it just so much smoother and less of an annoyance in my opinion. We'll actually come back to these in a little bit when I do the virtual reality demo. I just wanted to start off with that because already the experience has been so much better with these ones over the ones that I've used in the past. Up next we actually have the actual virtual reality helmet. And right off the bat it kind of has the same style that the PlayStation headset had. We have the twist knob on the back that closes it up. Uh, I actually liked that design and then they have the strap on the top that you can adjust. And then on the inside you actually get just kind of soft foam and the nose piece is kind of rubber. Um, overall, instantly right off the bat, this is extremely comfortable. I've been really, really enjoying it and I wear glasses as you can see. And a big thing with some VRs is they're not that glasses friendly. This one I have no problems whatsoever. Uh, and then I almost forgot, it does have a button on the bottom here. And the benefit of that is it can actually push closer and farther away from your face, whatever is the most comfortable for you. So overall, once everything's all done and said, it's actually just extremely comfortable. Uh, the cord, you know how it is on virtual reality, the cords kind of are a little bit of uh, uh, an annoyance, but... So another thing with the Oculus Rift S that I personally think makes it so much better than a lot of the other VRs is it's actually got the sensors up here, the two in the front, there's one on the top, and then there's actually one in each corner. Going back to what makes that so much better than, uh, let's say the PlayStation VR that I've used is, that one you had a camera that you actually had to mount and you had to pretty much be perfectly placed or basically your virtual hands would be all wonky, the game wouldn't be level or anything, you'd have to constantly reset it. The benefit to this is it actually tracks to these controllers really well actually so when you're in the game it can, the headset can actually tell when you're lifting up your thumbs when you're cl point, uh, closing your pointer fingers uh, it's actually quite amazing and it makes the experience so much better so you actually set it up and uh, it has you touch the floor with, with one of the controllers so it knows exactly what level that the game needs to be at and then it actually has you draw a perfect line of whatever the size room that you're in and basically, if you go outside of the, the guardian area is what they call it, uh, the cameras on the headset turn on and you instantly can see the room that you're in, uh, just to avoid you know either damaging anything around the room, damaging the controllers or the headset, uh, just keeping you safe. But what that basically means is whatever square or rectangle or whatever size room that you're in that you drew out, you can be in that entire area at any point of the room 
and the game's gonna pretty much know that you're just in that area and it's gonna be perfectly lined up the whole time. So that right there has already increased the actual enjoyment that I've had so far with it over the PlayStation VR. And I'm not hating on the PlayStation VR by any means. It is a little bit older than this one at this point and they are working on the PlayStation VR 2. So, I mean, I'm kind of comparing, you know, something more futuristic than the actual PlayStation VR, but just the limitations that that camera gave me and the, uh, pretty much the, just the, the controllers that you had to use, it, it just didn't work out for me. I kind of just got rid of mine and kind of decided, okay, virtual reality isn't for me. I'm going to wait until it gets a little bit better. And it has guys, it really has. Now, right when you open up this box, it's actually uh, really not much of an unboxing. You slide it out, you open up the box, and it's literally the two controllers and the headset sitting there, and that's about it. The setup of this was incredibly easy. You actually just had to download the Oculus setup app, and then it walks you through the entire thing. So you plug it into the two ports, the USB and the display port plug-in. And the app actually even shows you if you plug them into the right spots, which I, you know, I hope you'd know where to plug it in, but overall it made it extremely easy. And then it actually goes through a couple updates for the controllers and the headset, and boom, you're in virtual reality. It takes you through a few free experiences that Oculus provides for you. So you will not have an issue setting this up at all. There's no way, literally a caveman can do it. And then another thing that I thought was pretty nice that I don't know if uh, everyone would think this is nice or not, but this actually is battery powered uh, just with replaceable batteries. It's not rechargeable. And personally, the benefit of that, uh, to me at least, is where yes, rechargeable batteries are nice, they degrade over time. And the problem with that is now you've cut your VR experience, uh, you know, into a fraction of the time because now your rechargeable batteries just aren't as good as they used to be. So I, I actually think that's a big plus for it. Other than that, another huge improvement I noticed immediately, which makes sense, I'm running it on a more powerful PC than a PlayStation, but uh, it's got so much better color and just quality in general than the PlayStation VR headset. And I know I keep going back and comparing it, but that is the only VR that I've used. So that's the only thing I really have to compare it to. So just let me live my life, okay? Now I tried out a few experiences on this so far, so immediately you know I had to download Beat Saber. Never played it before. It is a blast, guys. I don't even know what else to say besides that it's just like Guitar Hero on crack. So much fun. The songs are pretty great on it. There's more uh, song packs that you can buy with it. Another one of the experiences I tried out for a little bit is Space Pirate Trainer. Uh, it's basically you're standing in one spot, you have two guns, and you're kind of just fighting waves of robots coming in. And this one also, extremely fun, I'll show you a little clip of that too. Uh, it was a blast, although once again I'm very terrible at it, so there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve with this type of stuff. And of course with getting a PC VR for the first time, I actually had to of course download VR Chat. And guys, this is ridiculous, <laughs> it's a little toxic. Uh, but basically I, I tried it out for maybe 30-40 minutes and uh, the experience was interesting to say the least. Pick a rock! Are you gonna grab me? I think what is happening? Yeah, overall this has been a super fun experience with the Oculus Rift S. I think for $400. Uh, it is a little spendy, but I, I totally understand. It's not like super expensive compared to other ones or anything like that. Uh, and then you also have to, you know, make sure that your computer can run this smoothly and, uh, you know, it's not going to overwork it. And as far as content goes, between the Steam library and the Oculus library, you're going to have so much stuff to play. You're never going to run out of things. Uh, and they're con constantly updating stuff. They're constantly releasing more content. So I don't think that's ever going to be a problem. And I think I'm going to be able to use this thing for uh, a pretty solid amount of years to come. But overall guys, I'll stop rambling. I do highly recommend this headset and I do want to know if you guys have tried it or if you own it or if you have a other VR that you personally think is better than this one. I, I'd like to know that. Drop it down in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if once again you thought I was awkward and weird and you just don't like me because I'll take that thumbs down too. Once again, this has been a digital cynic experience and from anything from tech games and movies and more, 
Make sure to sub to the channel. Videos every Monday. We're going to try to pump up videos every Friday. You know how it is, though. We have lives. But we love doing this for you guys. It's been super fun. And uh, it's fun to see you guys actually, you know, starting to comment, like our videos, sub to us. Uh, yeah, I'll shut up now. Have a good one. Peace.